one bee colony really will increase yield about 30 percent. Just kept going with it. This one I use bamboo brushes, which are used for Chinese calligraphy. Seedlings and produce, eggs and chickens, everything at Mass Ave Projects Farm revolves around the work that thousands of bees are doing on site and around the city. My name is Katie Fole. I'm the farm manager at the Massachusetts Avenue Projects. We're at 389 Massachusetts Avenue, um, right across the street from the Butler Mitchell Park here. Uh, allowing people to come in and see the way that honeybees work is really important to us. One bee colony really will increase yield about 30% on a vegetable farm, so they help us with that. As far as citywide, I think it's, it's a similar thing, you know, with increase in pollination and just kind of being able to, to coexist in a biodiverse environment. So there's a few different ways that you can help sustain the honeybee population in the city and even our um, native bees and wild pollinators and that includes um, growing flowers or vegetables in your yard and also um, not spraying pesticides and allowing them to, to thrive without that. Check the mic and make sure it sound right boys. Power lifter, bodybuilder, and friend of everyone he encounters, Al Lewis discovered running in his 40s and now runs in three different groups on a weekly basis. You, you were a bodybuilder at one time. Tell me how you got into that. Well, I got into bodybuilding. Actually, uh, when I was a teenager, I started off powerlifting. Um, I set a few records, um, New York State records, and I had a um, national record. Then after that, I got into on bodybuilding, so. And ever since I've known you, you were training at the JCC on Delaware, and then all of a sudden, you were running all the time, yes. and you did a race with me, totally smoked me. <laughs> so how'd you make that transition? Well, once I turned 42, 43, it I decided like that I wanted to work on my cardio more versus just lifting. So I had to change my mindset. And that's when I decided to get into running. And I did about, probably about 15 half marathons so far. And just kept going with it. Yeah. So I think right now, we're slowly coming out of COVID. It's been over a year of people being pretty stagnant and not feeling too great. What would you say to people who are just trying to find the way to keep one running? I would say take your time. You know, start off by walking if you have to. Then you could do walk and run. But simply enjoy it first. You know, you can run with your family, run with friends, and just do it. And start getting into that summer race circuit. There's beer after. Yes. Hey Al, thanks so much for running with us today. We'll see you out there. All right, thank you for having me and this was, this was fun. <laughs>
had an interest to pick up a camera and take photographs, but I was fascinated by photographic images. Here you can see how everything is turning green. Uh, the moment that I start fixing the paper, everything, everything turns green and then I'm starting to lose the purple colors. So I draw on the photo paper that has been already treated. So this paper was originally like this. So this is without the drawing and this is with the drawing over. So I take the ink, I mix the ink with a little bit of linseed oil so it can flow and I cover everything with black ink. Okay. And then I use a paper towel uh, and just using paper towel I start cleaning with the paper towel, wiping off the ink and as I wipe off the ink, I create the face, right? Then when I have to work on the small details, I use Q-tips, and I use the Q-tip to uh, eliminate the ink. This is what is called a reductive value process. Uh, you start with a middle ground, and then you start uh, uh, pulling out, or generating light by pulling out the ink and creating darker values by adding the ink back. Thanks for watching this week. We put this show together with the support of Greenlight Networks. Love when uploading a three minute video takes three hours? We didn't think so. Finally, there's an alternative internet provider in the city of Buffalo. Greenlight is on its way. Launching soon in Elmwood Village, Allentown, and the west side and expanding from there, you can learn more at greenlightnetworks.com.